Hmm. All right. Another church. Being upstairs before I go in. Uh. Nope. Please try to keep calm, Miss Linda. Oh, I know, I know. Why don't you have a look at my rosary lepka, Jim? I seem to have pulled on it a little too tightly this morning. That's no good, Ariani. No good at all. I'll tighten it for you, Miss Ariani, but first I ought to... I can help Lepkuhin. Oh, he leaves! What are you saying, lassie? A maid of all work can't possibly pray our blessings. We need Lepkuchin. Now where is Father Hans when we need him most? Aww. Father Hans has his own matters to attend to. I can... Best you visit each and every one of our homes, Lepkuchin. Ah, that's... I am too. I need a prayer in each and every room before sunset. Ah, but before then, Lepkuchin, could you... Will you folks back off a little? Why, at least can't you see where... <laughs> Lepkuchin! Well, who's going to pray our blessings now? You must fetch Father Hands. I'm gonna get her some water. Up good Jake, can you hear me? We'll be taking her home, Elise. She'll be fine. Mm. Alright, Miss Dorothea. I should pay her a visit in a little while. Of course, I'll be there. Aww. I have to go see her. She didn't deserve any of this. I won't stand for it, old lads. Nor will anyone else in Kieferberg. Why, we have to start with her, that's what. They're not touching any of our folks either, I'll have you know. What's going on here? I'm not certain this is the best time, lass. Old Jack is insisting we search folks for the witch's hexes, at least. You fool, you're giving her time to conceal the... Please, keep calm, old Jackin. What Kieferberg needs isn't calm hands, it's leadership. We're out to take matters into our own hands and search everyone. So you're searching every lass in town? I don't think Mr. Gustav would allow Freya to be searched for such things either. I won't allow anyone in town to be searched, lass. Not even you, old jock, and keep that in mind. Search me all you want. It's a matter of respect, old jock, and I would have thought you'd understand. This isn't the time for respect, Hans. I won't allow it. That's all I have to say on the matter. You fools, you regret this. Please. I thought you'd all be in class. Mr. Othea is insisting Apfel should rest for the day. Oh, Elise, did Apfel truly see the, you know... What are you talking about, Miss Linda? Apfel says he saw the witch. Jacob, what did I tell you? I'm sorry, Mama. I saw no such thing, Miss Linda. The poor lad's still frightened, I'm certain. That said, I wouldn't want my Jacob to believe such notions. Of course, Miss Linda. But Elise... Apple said you saw her too. Enough of that nonsense, Jacob. But Mama... I have to keep calm and deny everything. This could all get out of hand otherwise rather quickly too. I'm at a complete loss. So can't make sense of the fountain, Mr. Heinrich? Can't make sense of anything these days, that's what. 
Folks were convinced I had something to do with the windmill. Nonsense, lad. You'd never do such a thing out of spite. We all know it. Could have happened to any of us. You have to stand your ground, Eugene. You're so kind, Henrik. Folks are rather restless, that's for certain. All these going zonny -lees. First the crow's all about town, now the fountain too. Hope this doesn't have anything to do with the woods. I don't know, Brunhilde. Why don't you have a word with her, Tristan? With who, Miss Brunhilde? It's Linda. She wears too much for her own good. That certainly sounds like Miss Linda. That poor lass will end up like Miss Oddly at this rate, Tristan. I'll see what I can do. She'd best busy herself with the festival, I'd say. Wasn't she lending a hand already? It's Jacob she's fretting about, you see. Wants him by her side at all times, won't let him go play even. I can't say I don't understand, but anyhow, I gave the lads my word I'd lend a hand with the wheels. Aren't you fetching some water for Linda, Tristan? After I'm back from the well, Brunhilde. Mr. Tristan's a little short on patience today, isn't he? Okay, long enough, Rosamarine. Ah, Elise, I finally got Flock to settle down in the granary. More importantly, Rosamarine, I have to be rather careful about town today. Folks are losing their minds. Heard something's happened to the fountain, but stay close to me, you hear? All right, Elise. Folks are more than willing to believe there's a witch now, Rosamarine. If we're not careful, they'll turn against us. You seem frightened, Elise. I have good reason to be frightened, Rosamarine. Not only for my own sake, either. Oh, you're so subtly, Elise. Huh? You don't have to worry about me. I wasn't. It's not like... Look at you, you've gone bright red. Oh, for goodness sake. I see. I'll call for you if I need your help, alright? I'll be here, Elise. Things are starting to get rather serious, aren't they? Keep our burgs in shambles, that's what. Our grain is ruined, our fountain's dry, there's a witch out and about. We're making too much of it, Miss Wilma. Is she Elise? Isn't she Bernhard? I understand we're dealing with something we don't truly... An absolute nightmare. That's what it is. The way I see it, it's not the witch we ought to be worried about. It's Kieferberg you're worried about, isn't it? I understand what you're trying to say, Mr. Ludwig. Well, I don't. We're certainly dealing with a witch. Whatever it is, they're trying to ruin us, that's what. Stealing Eugene's horses, taking Atfell into the woods? This person is a proper menace. We must stay alert. It's not one of us, Ludwig. You didn't believe in any of this yesterday, Miss Wilma. Atfell claims he's seen it, at least. Maybe he just wants attention, Wilma. Either way, folks, we have to find out what's going on fast. I'm starting to feel a little uneasy about all this. Thus you don't come about these parts, lass. That was with reason, Elise. Why? Other hand said it's best folks don't wander up there. For the time being, at least. Because of what happened, I suppose? Did you have any business up there, Elise? Of course not, Mr. Finn. What could the lass be wanting to do up there, anyhow? I bought those weevils. It'll take us the entire day to pick them off that grain. Can we even do such a thing? 
Some of it will have to go to the pigs, I'm certain. Just our luck, huh? They've kept away from the logging camp since Tuesday, huh? Not just you guys do, I miss it too. Miss what, Mr. Finn? Working a proper day's work, class. What's there to miss about that? It's a nice change of pace for us, is all. Logging camps outside town, it gives us some peace. Working alongside Gustav is always a joy, too. I can't wait for all this nonsense to be over with. But praying for the festival has been a challenge, too. They're taking longer to prepare this year, that's for certain. If only I worked outside of town, too. I'd be a great deal less resentful toward these folks. Nothing up there. Not you too, Freya. Oh, Elise, I don't think I can bring myself to smile today. Then don't, Freya. Folks are already upset enough as it is, Elise. You don't need me moping about town, too. You'll never learn, will you? Miss Elizabeth, I can't help but worry about her. Mr. Eugene's leaving, and now Left Kitchen, too? Things are looking grim, I suppose. Must admit, I've been busier than usual, but... It's Miss Wilma's who's been trying my patience the most, if I'm honest. Hers and mine. I'll go visit Left Kitchen later today. There's a veil of hers I've been mending, too. I'll be happy to see you, Freya. Even Freya's in low spirits today, huh? Everyone's losing their minds today. You'd agree, I'm certain. Who, me? You've seen how moody everyone's been all week, lass. Folks don't know what to believe anymore. Nobody's in their right mind. Oddly, least. Turning to prayer, Bertha's scared witless? Is Bertha? I'd say what happened to that fellow has frightened her, you see. You didn't see anything in those woods yesterday, did you, Elise? No, Miss Loyally, I didn't. What use is there in tormenting the poor last Loyally? She would have told all of Kieferberg had she seen anything. I suppose, but... Miss Merchchild's right, Miss Loyally. The lad is safe and sound, thanks to Elise. We mustn't forget that. You're right, Miss Birchchild. You're right. Maybe I'm starting to lose my mind. I don't like where this is going. Chickens, apples. Apples, of course. Anybody out here? Ah. But I think I've been relying on her so heavily these days. I know we to pay Lip Kitchen and visit Elise. After Miss Mariel. Poor lass must be so overwhelmed. All of Kieferberg goes to her for reassurance, after all. Ah, oh, Elise, Elizabeth here was meaning to ask you. Oh, Miss Mariel, I wouldn't want to. Ask me what, Miss Elizabeth? You see, Apple's been telling me about what he saw in the woods. It's only natural, Miss Elizabeth. Apple was rather frightened when I found him, so I suppose. Or at least, I truly wouldn't want to imply, but... No, I understand, Miss Elizabeth. I told you, Elizabeth. He's been hearing old Jock and spreading his nonsense about town all week. It's only natural he would be frightened of the witch. Even I was frightened in the woods, to be honest. Oh, Elise, I can't thank you enough. So Apfel's been talking about it after all. I have to be careful. Oh? Oh, there you were, Elise. How is she, Miss Dorothea? 
She's tired is all. Miss Gretel and I tucked her into bed just now. I suppose it's best I let her rest, but... I'd say so, Elise. At least we know what caused Lippikin's fading. What do you mean, Miss Dorothea? Uh, we don't know what caused Atfell's fever. Or why those crows were about town yesterday, or... What truly happened in the windmill, or why the fountain's not working. Ah, I suppose. Or Elise, it's too much. I should let Leprechaun get some sleep, I suppose. How's my food? Oh. I have plenty. Chickens and apples. I must say I'm rather restless today, Elise. Aren't we all, Miss Elma? You're absolutely right. But never mind that now. Won't you check the chickens for me? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Elma. I have my hands full at the moment. Oh, just my luck. I do not like doing the chickens. Ah, there they are. Anybody down here, though? Oh. Quickly, Elise, won't you pick some apples? What's the rest, Miss Marilyn? I right, with all what's going on, lass. Lord knows if we'll ever have an orchard tomorrow. Alright, I'll do it. I'd say that's a bit of an overreaction, but it doesn't matter, at least. Just be quick about it. Sure. How many apples do these folks need, anyhow? Nice. Whoa. Oh, I'm so glad you made it, Elise. Thank you for your time today. She really doesn't seem to be doing so well. Ah, romantic date, huh? Why is everybody here? Hmm. Oh. 
Sleep time. Now that we're all gathered here, folks. Oh, we're losing our minds, Father. This week hasn't been easy for Kieferberg, as we all know. That said, we have decided to ask Primaldorf for support. Primaldorf, you say? You cannot compromise the festival at all, as you understand. Are you certain we've considered every option, Father? Kieferberg isn't what it once was, Ludwig. We need their help. We will be patrolling the outskirts in the evenings as well. That should make sleeping easier, that's for certain. The protection of Kieferberg and our neighbors is in order, folks. What happened to poor Apfel is bad enough. Oh, Father. But who is to carry out our nightly prayers? Naturally, the church's doors will be open to all, regardless. What about the windmill and the fountain? There's still water in the well, Wilma. No need to fret. Oh, but who knows how long that well will last. It's not as though the fountain's sustaining the well, isn't it? How would you know, Lassie? I'm at a loss regarding the fountain, if I'm honest. Wasn't there some sort of blockage, Mr. Ludwig? We're going to have to disassemble it. Why doesn't she try it, Finn? With those toothpick fingers of hers, I'd say she'd get the job done rather easily. This isn't the time to provoke the last Wilma. She's so keen to stick her nose in everything, Ludwig. I as well teach her a little lesson, wouldn't you say? Let's not get carried away, Wilma. We're not here to... Oh, that's a terrific idea. At least that's dangerous. You'll get hurt. Oh dear lord, she's getting in there. I'll show you all. Ah! A snake! A black snake was in the fountain. Ah, Kieferberg is done for. The witch! It's the witch! The devil himself! That's enough. Silence! We can't lose our heads. We must remain calm, you folks can't. Calm? How are we to remain calm, Father? <sighs> Everyone's dismissed. Back to work. Gustav and I will have a word about this. Hmm. Mommy. It's you! <laughs> I I have an offer for you, uh, Elise. Sake. Out of my sight, Martha. <laughs> I've had enough trouble for one day. Oh, but I think you'll like to hear this. So? Out with it, then. I don't have all day. Ah, but, but it wouldn't be for free. How about you give me some hearty soup? I don't think so, Muffs. We had uh, an uh, agreement, Elise. Or lucky I don't want any trouble, Mindy. Out with it now, what did you have to tell me? Oh, you're so generous. Out with it, Mary, right now before I... You don't have to th threaten me, Elise. Why do you threaten me every day, you little... I heard my auntie talking about it, a search. A search? Folks are losing their m minds over that serpent you put, pulled out of the fountain. They w went to search everyone I in town. For goodness sake! For goodness sake! <sighs> I'll pu put in a good word for you, Elise. But y you ought to promise me you'll b bring me some apple strudel tomorrow. <laughs> oh, to hell with you, Mo Molly. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Eek! <laughs> Melly's interference can weigh quite heavy. It must be prepared for tomorrow. You have a moment, Elise? Certainly, Father. I'd like to ask you to go easier on folks. Easier, Father? Practice patience, Elise, now more than ever. You pulling out that serpent this morning has upset some folks. 
I don't think that's fair, Father. This Oma was the one who provoked me into doing it in the first place. I understand at least, but folks are restless. The day has been rather challenging, as you know. I'm hoping you're having this conversation with Miss Audley as well. Miss Bertha, Miss Brunhild, and old Jockin too. Certainly, Elise. I'm the problem, I suppose. I always have been. Th there she is. Come now, Audley. There's hardly any need for all that howling. I'm surprised you're not on her side about this, Miss Bertha. Audley's convinced you conjured up that serpent, Elise. We all saw it with our own very eyes, Bertha. You saw nothing of the sort. At least might very well be the witch, for all we know. Why, you... That said, we can't point fingers at everyone in town, oddly. Finishing all of Kieferberg out of fear isn't the answer. Oh, good lord, we're done for. I can't even have a word with Lepkitchen, either. Because you folks hounded her day and night. Leave oddly to me, at least. Kieferberg will be done for if we carry on like this. I'm not so certain I'm comfortable with leaving Miss Audley to Miss Bertha, but... Ah, oh, Elise, I was looking for you, dearie. Looking for me, Miss Bertrachild? You see, I was hoping we'd have a word with you, Ariani. I've been struggling quite a bit lately, you see. Struggling with what, Miss Bertrachild? Oh, it's rather embarrassing, but I can no longer do many of my house chores. This terrible tremor won't let me wash my dishes or my laundry. Miss Merchild, won't you tell her I need her to stop by tonight, Elise? I would tell her myself, but this would be the fourth time this week, you see. Of course, Miss Merchild, I'll let her know. It's awful, isn't it, Elise? What Father Hand said earlier? Everyone's talking ill of each other behind their backs, Elise. Isn't that how it's always been? Oh, I know all that. Yet you hate it, is that it? I do hate it, Elise. That snake is going to get you quite the earful, too, I'd wager. Oh, to hell with that nonsense, Freya. You'll never reach old age if you keep fretting like this. It's not as though I can help it. She's well on her way to become just like them, that's what. I've seen the toll that this is taking on Papa, too. Mr. Gustav does have a lot to worry about, I guess. He hasn't been spending much time at home, either. Always talking with Father Hands with the lads. Folks aren't going easy on him, that's for certain. Mr. Gustav's struggling to keep a good hand on this town. Meanwhile, all those old geezers do is make it worse. Good grief, Lepkachin. What are you doing here, for goodness sake? I'm looking after the children. You were told to rest for the day, you... It's not as though I'm on my deathbed, Elise. Other hands came about to tell Miss Dorothea's class was cancelled. I took it upon myself to watch them as all. Still, Leb. I promise you I'll be heading home at nightfall. For goodness sake. Epka Chin's not taking any of this seriously. I'd best make certain she does go home at nightfall. Ah, okay, there's the time skip. <laughs> 